The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some independent Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to healthy living and weight loss will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. In addition, this audio may contain income or earnings representations of some independent Optavia coaches. Optavia makes no guarantee of financial success. Success with Optavia results from successful sales efforts, which requires hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan, which differs from the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Welcome to the Habits of Health webinar tonight. My name is Kat Fuller, and I'm really excited to see you here tonight. Um, feel free to shout out in the chat where you're coming from and how your weather is there. We're having some crazy weather here. So tonight we're gonna talk about element nine, um, how you use fuelings to reach a healthy weight. And I'm really excited to share this element with you because it means a lot to me personally. So when we talk about the, the life book and all of these elements that we're working, they work together for our favor. This is a full habits of health transformational system. This is not just um, a book and a workbook or something to help you along your journey. This is your transformational system for you. You get, a, you get the, the habits of health 2.0 book you get your life book that's, that will take you some time to get through. And you get a, an app that you can use to help, help with your process. And as we talk about this element, I wanna kind of go back a little bit to some of the basics you may remember from some earlier elements. This mason jar analogy that Dr. A brings up in the introduction of your life book. I'm gonna just share this story really quick for those of you who may not have heard it before. So there was a college professor who had a mason jar and he filled the jar with rocks and he asked his students, does this look full? And the student said, yes, it looks full. And then he put some pebbles in the jar and it kind of filled up some of the gaps in between the rocks. And he said, does this look full? And they said, well, yeah, now it's full. So he then put some sand in the jar and it filled all the gaps between the pebbles and the rocks and it looked very full and the students were like, yeah, we get it, it's full, now it's full, right? Well, he took some water next and he poured some water in that mason jar and filled it all the way to the top. And this analogy is what we wanna teach with Habits of Health. We want you to be able to focus on the most important things in your life, those rocks in your life. The most important things to you are what we wanna, we wanna put in first. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to do that experiment in the reverse but I have, because I thought, oh, I can figure this out. So if you put water in first, then the sand like slashes out half the water, then the, the pebbles, it, it doesn't work and there's no room left for the rocks by the time you get to that. You have to do this in the right order. So I wanna talk a little bit about some of the elements that we've, that lead up to this, because, because we're, in a, we're in a place where we're kind of switching from a psychological to a logistical, place with our life book. And you've learned things like, um, what is your current story? Being clear why you're here. How do you create what you want? We, spelt, we spent some time on building a healthy mindset, optimizing your surroundings, your path to a healthy weight, and so on and so on. We've had all these amazing calls about this. I wanna go back to one a little bit because it has so much to do with why fuelings. So, in element four, Dr. A talks about our three brains. So our lizard brain is the first, as you can see on the bottom here, and this is the habit maker. This is automatic. Um, our higher brain is Labrador, it's emotional, and this is our reactive, it's immediate. And then our human brain is our thinking, and this is where our discipline and willpower live. So we're gonna go through these a little bit for, for fun. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> So our lizard brain. So this is at the base of our skull in our brainstem. It's the basal ganglia, and this is where habits form. This evolved first. It's very small. 
and it's just the basics. So if you think about if you've ever seen a lizard and you try to catch it or you even just look at it, it runs away immediately. All, it's just automatic. It's, it's just out of there, right? So this is what our lizard brain functions for us. It controls things like breathing and moving. And it also controls our basic instincts of hunger, thirst, and survival. The next brain is our Labrador brain. So this is where we have the limbic system. You might remember talking about this in element four. So this is the emotional center of our brain. This is where we create rich life experiences, loyal, fear, fight, flight. And this is like the dog that you leave all day or you leave for 10 minutes and it comes, comes to you when you come home and loves you no matter what. <laughs> and I, I think about, I think about like, my experience with dogs, we were, we bred dogs growing up and they were always so loyal and so emotional and so fun. And they, they do, they love food, they love family and they seek pleasure. They, they avoid pain at almost all cost. I have, I had a dog that would not get off my bed because it was comfortable unless I really pushed it hard and it would resist. It would resist me. Another thing about, about this part of the brain is there's no morals here. So a dog or any other animal who hunts, they don't feel sorry for their prey. Um, if you've ever had a pet dog, we had snousers and they're mousers. So these dogs would bring me their catch and they didn't feel bad for that little mouse that they caught, but they were so proud bringing it to me and showing me this prize. So let's talk about the human brain. This is the highest, and this is your prefrontal cortex, where we have the power to think. This is where our free will or free won't lives. This is where our discipline is and our mindfulness. Everything has to pass through this. So we're going to take, I want to take a couple examples and, and kind of bring this to life. So if you see or smell food, bread cooking, um, a a chocolate cake. Um, I know my kids come in the house, mom, what did you make? And I'm like, I made an Octavia brownie. That's why it smells so good, you guys. But they think I made some big fancy treat. Their stomachs are rumbling. We have hunger pains, our mouth waters. This is what the, the lizard brain does when, it, when it, we see or smell food. The Labrador brain is just like, I must eat now. There's going to be a famine. I don't know when I'll eat again. And I always think about my dogs growing up and we fed our dogs once a day and whether we gave them a bowl like this big or a bowl, a little half a cup of dog food, they went crazy and ate and ate and ate until they couldn't eat anymore. And like it was, there was no portion control. There was no um, understanding of what they were doing. They just ate what they were given. Um, we've had some funny situations in our family when in-laws have come to stay. Dogs don't care about getting fat. That's right. <laughs> Someone said in the chat. So we've had our in-laws come and our dogs have gained and gained and gained while they're there. And they said, oh, I just fed them every time we ate. And they ate three times a day. So they were feeding the dogs three times a day. They don't get it. They don't care. So let's look at this, what's happening here. So I want to just read a little bit from Habits of Health because I like how Dr. A says this. We're not, when we're not self-aware and something happens, a stimulus enters our brainstem, as you can see that stimulus going up, and travels up to the Labrador brain. Your lower brain elicits emotion that creates an immediate action without consulting your thinking brain. This was imperative 10,000 years ago to respond immediately to, avo to avoid a threat or act on another survival thread survival need, excuse me. This explains our impulsive nature and why we often get in trouble by doing or saying something without thinking. So that what we want to create is a space between stimulus and response. So let's see with the human brain how we can do this. So we smell cake or bread or whatever it is that we smell something that smells delicious and we have those human responses and we have those emotional responses, the lizard responses and the Labrador responses. And now we have this human brain that's, that's like, whoa, wait, I have health goals. What do I really want? There's not a famine, I'm fine. I have a plan. I have fuelings. I even have chocolate fuelings, right? So this is where the fuelings come in. They help us create a space, a bigger space between stimulus and response. 
So if you remember learning about stop, challenge, and choose, that's where that space lives. And that gives us a longer space between stimulus and response to create the life that we want, to be the dominant force in our lives. So that's what, what, what we wanna teach with why, why, we, why fuelings, right? So I wanna share something with you from this element. And I'm, I'm all in my life book all the time, you guys. And I love, I don't know if you noticed this, but at the beginning of the life book, there's these, the rocks that we're putting in. And then, and I know my screen's tiny, but if you look in your life book, you can see it. And then by the end, they're full. We're filling the jar with the things that matter most to us. So I want to just read a little bit about this. One of the obesity researchers, Danziger, once stated that if we could overcome the psychological and log logistical barriers, we could eradicate obesity in a matter of months. This may be a bit of an exaggeration, but his point is well taken. And it's the, at the heart of the habit, habits of health, weight management, strategic plan. So in terms of addressing psychological aspects, as you've seen in the elements we've already completed, we've spent a bunch of time going over managing our emotions, our thoughts, our choices, and our relationships to help you be the dominant force in your life and take responsibility for your life. So now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a powerful way to overcome the logistical barriers to creating healthy weight and lifelong health. So I want to share with you my friend Jackie Grover, who used the fuelings to create this life for herself. Are you there, Jackie? I'm here. Thanks, Kat. So five years ago, I had had enough and I was looking for a change. And I had always heard that eating six small meals a day was the healthy way to eat. But you guys, I was eating one, maybe two meals a day at that time. And I thought, no way would six meals serve me to lose weight when I'm just eating one or two right now. But I just didn't know what being healthy looked like. I was, frustrated. I was scared. I was clueless. I thought being healthy was hard. And as I was looking for some, for a change, I found Optavia. And as I was talking with my future coach, she was explaining the simplicity of the program to me. And she told me it's mostly done for you. Every day you're going to get up and you're going to choose five perfectly protein, carb balanced fuelings, and only worry about one meal a day. One meal, that's all I had to worry about because I was at the point that trying to figure out a healthy meal was mass confusion for me. So to, know, to think of having to put six meals together and eat them and prep them and go to the grocery store and find everything and do all of that, this was nonsense to me. I just couldn't wrap my mind around it. So hearing that I could grab five feelings that were already done for me, and I only had to worry about one meal a day, I, I thought, I can do this. I can try this. So my lean and green, this was my practice meal because this is where I was going to learn, learn healthy habits and what I was going to do for long-term success. So as I combined my five feelings a day and my lean and green, I was creating a mild fat burning state and I was able to have a healthy 60 pound weight loss. So this was made so simple that I was able to start focusing on creating other healthy habits. I was, I was starting to create a healthy mind. I needed these things for my long-term success. And as I utilized the goof proof feelings to help me with my goals, I was creating a healthy body, not just with weight loss, but because each fueling had the vitamins and the minerals that my body needed on a daily basis too. And again, all of this was done for me while I was learning what all of this meant and all of this was. I was learning protein carb balance. I was learning what healthy fats were. I was learning portion control. I was learning the vitamins and minerals that my body needed. I was learning I needed to fuel my body every two and a half to three hours to keep my blood sugars level. 
so I could turn my body into a fat burning machine so I could reach my goal, so I could create a healthy body. But the feelings were taking so much work away from it, so much stress away from it for me that I was able to focus on other healthy habits, especially what was up here, because I know the before and after picture up here is way more impressive than my physical before and after. Um, you know, I never felt deprived on the program either. Uh, we have a wide variety of fuelings, whether I was craving savory, sweet, or I wanted a hearty meal. All the, all the varieties I had to choose from, they helped me avoid taste fatigue and boredom with my nutrition. While I was in my weight loss phase, we were doing a lot of traveling. I have four kids and they were all very involved and I was being pulled from a lot of different directions. And I needed convenience. I needed to not be thinking about it because I was taking care of everybody else. And, but it was time to take care of me so I could take even better care of everybody else. Um, so, so while we were going on all of these events, we were traveling two and three times a week. We were traveling on weekends, spending the night out of town for all of our kids' athletic events. And those of you know, when you attend events, how, like Kat said earlier, like smells are triggers. And when you would walk, when I walked into events and I would smell those concession stands, oh boy, there were some barriers there for me. But I knew that having my fueling in my pocket or in my purse, and I knew this was going to help me fueling my body every couple of hours, I was going to stay in control because, and the convenience of having it right there with me, this was very important to my success. Wow, Jackie, that I love hearing your story and it's so powerful how simple you kept things and how, how it just worked in your life for you. So let me get this back up. Dr. A says, our first area of focus needs to be getting down to a healthy weight using our nutritionally balanced fuelings. And one of the things he says about this I love is because he's been doing this a while, you guys. So it's, he said this is one of the, very, of the first real micro habits of health that he's used to help people of all backgrounds finally have a consistent, manageable way to lose weight. He's also found it's the easiest way to help people overcome challenges like logistics that we mentioned um, in their current lifestyle. So just like Jackie, I was so busy and I had tried meal prepping. I had tried doing all, the, all of the whole foods myself. And I remember when my coach was telling me what was coming that I thought it was I honestly thought this is the weirdest thing. I'm getting a box of food for the whole month. I really thought it was strange. And I quickly changed to how amazing it was that I had all this incredible, incredibly nutrient dense food delivered to my doorstep and I could eat it at any time. And it creates that space where if I have a craving, if I have a, um, if I smell something delicious and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I really want that. We have these cookie stores where I live that they deliver hot cookies to your door and my neighbors are getting them all the time. I see them and I've been at a friend's house and smelled her cookies as they were get, coming in. I'm like, wow, those smell amazing. But I know, I'm, I know I can go home and have a cookie that supports my goals, that isn't gonna derail me, that isn't gonna make me feel like I'm living in my lizard or Labrador brain, that I'm actually making choices and being, becoming the dominant force in my own life, which is so empowering. So there's three components within this element. Um, the first is you choose five prepackaged meals during the day. The second you prepare, and we're, we'll go through all of these. The second you prepare one lean and green meal. And the third, you use the habits of health clock to space six feelings out over a two and a half to three hour time period. So the first thing is our fuelings are amazing. We've kind of talked about them a lot, but it's important to, to look at how, how high quality these are. They are best in class, truly. I've been to the facility and it's amazing. 
Um, there's so many different options, which means they're not going to make your blood sugar spike. They're gonna keep you even. They're gonna help balance out your hormones, balance out your blood sugars, and balance you out. <laughs> I, have a, I have a husband who's hypoglycemic, and this was the miracle in our lives that we found these feelings that help him be fed and healthy all the time. So um, they're portable, they're convenient, they're so easy to take everywhere. Like Jackie said, you just throw some in your purse and you know you're okay. I, we did Disneyland with fuelings instead of food and we use them all the time. They're goof proof, they're cost effective and they're, they work, they really work. I've tried to do it on my own and it's, it didn't work. <laughs> and I have friends who have done it on their own and it was a lot more work than just unwrapping a, a bar and eating it. <laughs> So the second part is your lean in green. So what is the lean in green? And a lot of you are clients and coaches on this call and you know what it is, but I wanna go back to the basics with this and help you remember when you were first starting out that probably you did pretty simple things. And I wanna just encourage people to keep their lean in green simple. Five to seven ounces of cooked protein, lean protein, three servings of non-starchy veggies, and up to two servings of healthy fats, depending on your lean protein choices. We get a little fancy with our recipes and such sometimes, so just I'm just encouraging you to go back to the basics, especially if you're at the beginning of your journey or if you feel stuck, because this is something that I do as a person who's a, a healthy person, who's make, becoming the dominant force in my own life. This is something I do often is I just go back to the basics. You can have your lean and green any time of day, which talks about, we can talk about, this with the habits of health clock. So I love this clock. I think it's so cool to look at our day in one place like this and know, okay, I'm sleeping for these eight, seven to eight hours. I got to eat within the first hour I wake up. And then every two to three, two and a half to three hours, I get to eat again. <laughs> I love the feeling of not being hungry all day because I fuel my body all day long and fuelings make it possible. I could not prepare, I have four boys, I could not prepare my own food for six meals a day. I would go crazy and my family would go crazy. <laughs> so this, right now, Dr. A said this in this element, we are going to start with baby steps and build the habits that will make your healthy eating transition permanent. So, okay, great, what's beyond weight loss? Then what? I wanna have, Jackie come back on and share a little bit of, oops, sorry, I tech challenges here. So Jackie, talk to me about, you've maintained this weight for five years. Talk to me now about how, how you utilize the fuelings. Yep, I still use the fuelings in optimization because I know now, and when I get to say that, you guys, I can say, I know now, I know what healthy looks like. That feels so good to say that because I used to just, I didn't know, but now I know what healthy looks like thanks to the education from the program and the healthy habits that I created. But sometimes I'm, I'm unable to cook or prepare whole foods. Sometimes I'm just busy or you know what? Sometimes I just don't want to. <laughs> and honestly, I crave, I have some favorite fuelings too, and I crave them. They're so good, but they are exactly what I want to fuel my body with. They're just part of my pantry now. They're just who I am. It's part of me because they're easy. They're simple. They're good. They're goof proof and they're really cost effective. So they're just, it, they're just part of my pantry now. You're we're muted, Kat. We're having a storm and we got a little bit of technical difficulties out here. Sorry about that. So I love that, Jackie. And I love using them still within my healthy whole foods that I eat and all of the delicious meals that I do like to make my family and myself now. I know that I can use fuelings to help push me not beyond, beyond optimal health and into ultra health. And I really, that's what I want to strive for is I want to always be improving. And that's what we provide at Optavia with this Habits of Health transformational system is that we can always be better. So I have a couple tips as we get ready to go tonight. 
Meet with your coach to talk about your thoughts and plans and your actions around fuelings, around your program, where you are with your goals, what you want, maybe some things you've thought about that you, maybe some aha moments you had tonight with kind of bringing the brain, the brain stuff from element four into application here in element nine. Um, keep it simple. I kind of mentioned this before with the lean and green. Keep your, keep it simple. We do better when we don't have decision fatigue. We do better when we have to make less decisions in our lives generally. And lean into this community because it is a powerful, powerful place. So it's your turn to be a little reflective right now. And I'm, I'm going to actually give you some time. I hope some of you are in a place where you can do this. So think about what, maybe write this down in your life book, because we just went through this element. What does this element mean to you right now? What part of your journey are you in? Where do you want to go? What does the future best version of yourself look like? And what does this element mean for that person? The second question is, what does this element give you the opportunity to reflect on? And I love this question. Because it takes, we talked about how if we could take out the psychological barriers and the logistical barriers, that we would have a higher rate of success and lower obesity in our country and the world. That it gives us the opportunity. It gives us what Dr. A calls a teachable moment where we can reflect on other things. Jackie talked about it, that while she was not having to worry about her food, she was able to learn the other healthy habits that were gonna keep her healthy. And that's, that's a really special and unique part of this program is that we do have the opportunity to have that teachable moment where we can focus on the things that are the most important because all the other, the basic needs are taken care of. And the last question is, what actions are you going to take as a result of this element? Are you going to reach out to your coach and talk to them about your plan? Are you going to get into your life book a little bit more? I know I am. I have, I'm enjoying this so much. I, I love having my own. I, we, my husband and I both do this. We're both coaches and we love what we do. And we, love sitting down and talking we're turning into nerds and it's so great i love it because we sit down and talk about well what did you learn in your life book today well i'm back in element seven and i'm in element 12 and this is what i learned and here's what we and we talk about this and we reflect and we share and we figure out ways to make the life of our dreams happen so i want to remind you before we take off for the evening um you're your videos for your life book elements are available on YouTube on the Optavia playlist. And these are just two to three minute quick videos about your, the elements in your life book. So you can rewatch any of the webinars also on this channel, the longer ones, you can also watch these short little snippets and just kind of get a, a good taste of what the element is. And it's actually, I love having these little, there's so many different resources. This is a real system. This is not just a book and an app and all these things. This is a real Habits of Health transformational system. So we wanna invite you next week to join us and as we talk about element 10, the role of hydration in reaching a healthy weight. And it will be such a great, this is one of my favorite topics. So I'm gonna be on listening. And I invite all of you to be on as well. <laughs> so as we start wrapping up, um, think about where, what you can do in your life to become more of the dominant force. And going back to that mason jar, figure out what your rocks are. And as you start working on putting the habits of health in your jar, you're going to create the best version of yourself. And that's what we're all about at Optivia. We want to invite you to live your best life. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This has been a great call. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some independent Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants, and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified, and your individual path to optimal health will vary. 
As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. In addition, this audio may have contained income or earnings representations of some independent Optavia coaches. Optavia makes no guarantee of financial success. Success with Optavia results from successful sales efforts, which requires hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan, which differs from the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Optavia team.